Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you again for joining us here at CCSC. Welcome back to our new Washington, D.C. build. And as you can see, we have reclaimed quite a bit of land down here on this peninsula. This lighthouse here is where the shoreline was. And we reclaimed all of this land here. Uh, we've done that slowly to extend this peninsula down and give us more valuable land. If we go to our info views, you can see the land value. Anything on shoreline is very valuable. Now, the game hasn't caught up yet because this was the last thing that we built. So it still thinks that this is the shoreline. Nonetheless, we've reclaimed quite a bit of land. And we have come up here to our farm industry and we have revamped everything, as you can see. For our actual farmland area, as you can see, we have added four of the large crop fields. Now, the large crop field, if we go to our Industries DLC, the large crop field requires a lot less water, and that is the perk of the large crop field. Large crop field requires 640, where uh, the small crop field requires 400, and as you can see, they are about four times. So, four of these equal about one of those, and four of those would require four, 400, 1600, where that only requires 640. So it requires a lot less water to maintain. However, I didn't want to delete everything that we had. So we went ahead and put four of these down across the road and moved the rest over here. I think we deleted a couple. Uh, we also added, moved our workers barracks over to here and added a few more over here and over here. Uh, as you come into the farming industry, so as you come into the industry industry, you've got a choice of going left, and over here we've got a warehouse. This warehouse is designed to hold flour, this one for animal products. We've moved a fire station next to the cargo export hub, and if you go to the right, you now enter all of our pastures. This farmland, this uh, pastures, uh, hold animal products, hold animals that produce animal products. Um, this is our farm maintenance building and our farm main building. I actually put another farm maintenance building down. Uh, I don't know if it will work the same, but it, it adds, reduces maintenance by 5%. This is just a large barn, and the main reason that I put this here is to connect the electricity. That was really the only reason. I didn't want to run a bunch of lines. We have one straight line of power, all connected by buildings. Uh, over here we have the slaughterhouse, which is close enough to the animals, uh, but there is noise pollution from the slaughterhouse, so it's far enough outside of the noise pollution. And another little uh, pedestrian plane. Over here we've got our cattle shed, which is also close enough to the cattle, and milking parlor. Uh, here is a small barn, again, just to connect the electric. Maintenance building. I added a little medical clinic because we have 40... Uh, workers in all of these barracks, so there's a couple hundred people just living up here full-time So there's a little medical clinic couple parks another large barn and here is our flour mill the flour mill does pollute So it's kind of away from everything uh, We went ahead down in this area and not only did we finish off the crops uh, But we've got the workers barracks and then I kind of did a little bit of design to make it look Sorry about that. Had a little uh, controller trouble. Uh, kind of added a little bit of things to make it look kind of cool. Um, we've got a couple large grain silos and a couple barns to make it kind of look like a farm area. So if you go to this view here, as you're coming into town, this is what you see. You see a bunch of farm area, a couple grain silos. That's what it looks like. Um, we did give them a walking path so that they can get across. Uh, I looked at the standard cement path, but this looks cooler. This is just a wooden path. This is the bridge that naturally comes off of the gravel path, but they now have a path to get across and over here. Uh, then they can do some shopping. They can go to a few places. Uh, so we've got everything set up for our five-star industry over here. We're gonna go ahead and hit play, but I wanted to point out, so this is the two spots where our last pastures were. When you move pastures, the animals naturally, bump it up to three times speed, naturally realize, oh, that's not where we're supposed to be. So they are supposed to be here and here, and they will slowly just head on out, cross over, go to where they're supposed to be. Uh, we need some resources here. We may have expanded too much, however. Uh, all it will do is, is export to another town, so we'll be okay. There is a lot of traffic on this road, and I'm hoping it's not too much. I'm hoping this just two lanes can handle this. However, 
We have quite a lot of other things to talk about in this episode. Uh, so, we've covered the farm. We also reached five star on campus. So let's go ahead and check out our Thornton Career Institute. Uh, we have reached five star here, and we can now add the last few buildings. We now have access to the School of Engineering. This is a very large building, so I wanted to see... We can... Looks like we can just delete these and put this here. And hopefully that won't take up too much area. See how this looks here. And hopefully it's on that tier. Yes. Yes, it is. All right. So there is the School of Engineering. Uh, now, we're going to have very limited space here. Uh, these last... That's the biggest building. That's why I wanted to get that in first. But these last few buildings are going to take up quite too much space. So this is just a academic statue. That's not too bad. Beach Volleyball Club. All right. Not bad at all. So we've got... Can we fit this here? Let's see how that looks. Uh, it's not real, quite on the right terrace. Uh, that is our Trade School Media Lab. Let's see if we can move that, actually. Um, let's see if we can move it down. Autosave. My apologies. Uh, let's see if we can move that down to here and see what this looks like down here. It might look a little bit better. Yeah, I think that looks a little better. Not much, but a little bit better. It's a little bit more away from that as well. Uh, the other thing that we unlocked, not that, uh, is this. This is our second academic statue, and we'll go ahead and put this down here. And there we go. We have unlocked everything on our campus. That is our campus complete. We still have a little bit more room. Uh, we could add a couple more things, but we've got everything down that we need to have. Uh, the only other thing that we unlocked whenever we reached five-star prestigious reputation in our Thornton Career Institute is the museum. Once you reach five star, you unlock the technology museum. And I, what I'm thinking we're going to do is not have this near the campus, but have this down here. Uh, we moved one of the fire stations from our farm area. We had three farm fi fire stations in the farm area. What I'm thinking is putting it down here. Um, let's see how this looks. Maybe not there, but in this area, definitely. Uh, we'll leave it there for right now. Uh, we'll rearrange that later. However, it doesn't look too bad on the water. Uh, so that is five star on our campus, on our Thornton Career Institute. We are finally done with that. Uh, we also unlocked level three on mining over here at Ivy Mines. Level three on Ivy Mines, as you can see. Uh, for the next one, we need 70 more workers, and we're just waiting for produced resources. However, let's go ahead and go to our Industries DLC here. See what we unlocked. We have now have a medium ore mine. We'll go ahead and put this down. So that is the medium ore mine. We have also unlocked... Seabed mining vessel. Huh. Interesting. Seabed mining vessel. That's cool. Uh, we don't need that, but uh, still pretty cool. Um, <laughs> or grinding mill. We already have that, don't we? We have that down here, right? That was one of the first things. Yes. Glass manufacturing plant. Rotary kiln plant. So when we were taking back the land over here, we unlocked, we reached the third star. Uh, so I wanted to get back to the Let's Play series and actually show you all the things. So... The rotary kiln plant takes ore raw materials and heats them in high temperatures to form materials like iron or pellets. All right, fair enough. That can be used at the steel plant. Um, now, I believe we also unlocked a factory here. We've got the industrial steel plant. And what does the industrial steel plant require? Uh, it looks like, looks like just iron ore. We'll go ahead and slap this down here. Now that is going to be a big old polluter, isn't it? Uh, 25%, not too bad. All right, uh, we've also unlocked, I think something else, correct? Electronics factory. Now I don't know that these will stay here. I don't even know if they will be used. 
Uh, we may move these. However, I'm going to go ahead and put them down now. It's only $150,000, even if we delete them. The electronics factory, and... I think that's it. Now, the electronics factory requires plastics, glass, and metals. And as you can see, we have a warehouse over here with glass. It is 4% full, and the glass here. So we don't have enough glass coming in. We do have some glass produced. However, plastics, we have zero. Um, plastics are produced in your oil industry, and I'm 99% positive, let me know in the comments below, that if you're not producing it, you can't import it. Uh, so we can't do anything with plastics. So that means that this factory over here that requires plastics, we might as well delete it. This clothing factory over here, look, we have animal products, we have crops, we have zero plastics. We might as well delete it. It's not going to work. However, I think this steel plant will because all it requires is metals, and that's what we're producing up there at the ore factory. I'm worried once we stop, what will happen? Uh, we are also producing glass up there, and that's why we have the access to our uh, lemonade factory. However, the other two factories, I think, are completely pointless. We can go ahead and turn this back on. This is working fine. This is the bakery. Uh, and go ahead and hit play here. I believe. I think we're fine to hit play. Uh, so we do. We did have some flooding. And what my resolve was, was just dug a hole. Uh, I dug a hole for all the water to go in. And slowly, I've been lifting that out. So we are on three times speed. You can see the peninsula that we built. You can see how much land we took back. It was a long process, as mentioned before. What I like to do is go to the level tool, click it there, go to the smallest setting here, and set my point. Then I will go through and do it here, 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 here. Slowly raise up a bunch of points and then slowly fill them in. And that disrupts the water a lot less than anything else that I've found. And even still, we had, of course, flooding. Um, we have no f no water over there. But again, I don't think we can keep that factory. What is the... Requires glass, metals, and plastics. We have no plastics. So we can actually delete this. Which we're going to do, uh, unfortunately. This just requires metals. We are producing metals. They just need to get here. Uh, a lot of traffic down here. We need to reroute these roads so that there's different access for the factories. However... Just wanted to touch base, uh, let you know what we've done. We're going to go ahead and add our fish farm, and we can go ahead and move this here. Relocate this fish farm down to here. And we might actually go ahead and do this off camera between episodes. I think we're going to go ahead and do that between episodes. Uh, we're going to move the fish farm down here. Uh, and the... I think that covers it. I think that covers everything, guys. Ah, oh, that's what it was. I want to move the fish factory down here. Move the fish factory down here just for now. Let's see. Where can we put it? We will put it... Put it right here. Uh, just for now, just to get the pollution out of this area. Now, I believe we still have a road in place there. Yes. Just to get the pollution out of that area. And I think we're going to go ahead and move this fish market as well. And move it down into this area, this Empire District. Uh, we will have a fish market up there and a fish market down here. Now, we're not going to keep it in this location. However, uh, I wouldn't mind it having it down in this area so that we have fresh seafood for all of the tourists coming to visit Empire District. They can go to the fish market. Uh, and as said in previous episode, we are going to revamp Victoria Square and change their entire economy from fish-based to tourism-based. However, we'll do that off camera as well. I think that's going to go ahead and end it for today's episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here at CCSC. Please like, share, and subscribe. We've got some trash problems over there, but as you can see, full of cows. Um, they're all Highland cows, too. Oh, you got to wait for... Uh, it doesn't matter. It's just appearance, but nonetheless. Let's go ahead and make this pigs. There we go. Yeah, you want to hear pigs, you know? <laughs> uh, here's regular cows, regular cows. This is Highland cows, Highland cows, and regular cows. All right, so that seems... It's just purely aesthetics. Oh, I also put the farmland fence all around the area. Um, I think it makes it kind of stand out from the highway. It makes it, you know, look like a farmland. Uh, and if you come around the backside, I actually got it around the backside of the main farming area as well. 
However, the backside just stops over there. We added a couple trees, make the entrance nice and decorative. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, you have it. That is a five-star industry. However, the industries work together. All four of the industries, ore, oil, farming, and forestry work together. And for all these factories to work, you have to have all of them working, which is why I've mentioned our next Let's Play series. We're going to do a quick tutorial on all of the industries. However, figured I'd get a little bit of input in here and uh, try and help out a little if I can. Auto save again. We're so close. We're so close. Now we just got to wait for this little auto save. All right. I just wanted to run some water lines up this road here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it. Thank you again for joining us here at CCSC. Just a quick episode today. Uh, quick update. We're going to do a lot more work off camera and come back and join you. Uh, what is our population? 79,000. Pretty much where we're staying. Um, haven't grown any, but that's good. I don't want to reach that milestone yet. Um, maybe in the next episode we will focus on reaching that milestone. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining us here at CCSC. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time.